Okay, this is a video showing you how to clean your uh, mini bike carburetor. This is a basically a standard carburetor you would see on a 50cc to 80 and 110cc pit bikes, four wheelers, pocket bikes. Now, if your bike is messing up, not starting, if it's been sitting for a while or if you just run it through a lot of dirt. I'm going to show you how to clean it. Now I've taken the entire assembly out of the bike because I couldn't fit the whole bike in my shop. It's kind of crowded right now. These are the tools you're going to need to do it. You're going to need a 10 millimeter wrench. Sometimes it's an 8 millimeter. So don't get mad if yours is an 8 millimeter. These bolts on the manifold, you would need to unbolt your carburetor. I will uh, speed up the footage. These bolts are kind of long. Okay. Now the carburetor is free from the manifold, but still inside the bike. You would unscrew this top cap, which has your throttle body in here. You got the slider with the needle here. Now it goes back in one way. You got a track on one side, and you'll look in here, and you'll see a tooth that's molded, and it'll have a little stop right here. It just goes on this side, goes right back in, slides up and down in there. It's your throttle. Now, there's nothing really complicated about these. Basically, all motorcycle carburetors are the same basic principle, anyway. So, you want to back out the screws that hold the bowl on. Sometimes it's a square bowl, sometimes it's the round one, it just takes a fill up. Sometimes you might have to tap the, the head of the uh, screwdriver with a hammer to loosen them up. It helps. Sometimes they're pretty stuck. Now remember, the bowl only fits on one way. You got this hole here, this hole, they meet up right here, it's the wide area. Real easy to figure out. A lot of the times your carburetor is going to look really gross. You're going to have a lot of dirt built up in here, you're going to want to clean it all out. This is one that's already cleaned, just for the sake of the video. I'm going to show you how to clean it. These two are most likely your problem, or your float is getting stuck. You have the idle jet, and then you have your main jet, which the uh, throttle needle I just showed you slides up in, in and out of it to allow fuel into the motor. You would just loosen that, back that one out. Now, see if I can get you all to see, but there are tiny pinholes that spray the fuel. Plus you've got one through the carburetor. I will show you. If you can see through the jet, you can see light through it. This one's clear. The small jet is usually your problem. Usually just takes a flathead screwdriver You don't have to tighten them up real hard or anything. They're not adjusted anyway. So, I mean, it's, you're not going to hurt the way the bike runs by backing them out. You don't need to adjust them out any turns. Just don't adjust the main screws because they are they don't ever really need to be played with. Now, this one has an extremely tiny hole in it. And is very difficult to see through it at times. Uh, it seems to be clear, but if you have one that's jammed up, you have much smaller sprayer holes, plus a much smaller hole in here. Now, I found a neat trick to this. If you have a piece of bicycle brake cable, a little braided steel cable, you can cut you off a little bit. 
and take a single strand of it and pull it off. And you can feed it through the carburetor. It's all twisty and everything, so it's going to clean as it goes through it. Now, if your bike still runs and everything, but is running bad, or when you give it gas, it wants to stall out, it could be that one jet is clogged and the other one isn't. And it's most likely the small jet is your culprit. Sometimes it takes a while to feed this wire all the way through because you're going to be hitting dirt. And this hole is literally the same size as this wire. Now I've been twisting this for a while. Let's see what we got. Ew. There was some junk in that jet. That will keep your bike from running. And it'll take a while to dig through it sometimes. Just get you some pliers, hang on to it, and just twist it and pull. There's more dirt. It's a very narrow passage, so any obstruction is going to keep you from getting fuel. And more dirt. It helps if you have an air compressor with a spray nozzle. I got this sprayer nozzle from Ace Hardware. It has a rubber tip on it. I find it's handy when you're working on carburetors to have the rubber tip. Because you can take the jet and you can force it in there. And try to force air through it. And this one is completely clogged. Finally, we got the piece of wire all the way through. You can spin it all the way around. It helps if you have a can of Behrman's B12 Chem Tool Carb Cleaner. You can get it from AutoZone, Pat Boys. They all have it. Just start spraying it through the jets. Once you have both jets cleared out, it helps to check your float. You just pull this pin out. Sometimes you might need to get a pick and like push it through or something. Be careful not to break these loops. They're really easy to break. You just take the float out of the needle and seat, which this is the seat and this is the needle. Make sure all this isn't dirty. Sides of these usually uh accumulate some dirt looks pretty good it's pretty shiny if yours isn't you can take q-tip with some bearmans and run it down there and clean it all out real good it should be fine once you get it to where it won't stick you don't want your float to stick this is what regulates the flow of fuel into the carburetor you just want to put that pin right back in there You take your main jet, screw it back in. Idle jet. Get them all in there nice and tight. You don't have to over tighten them just, just enough where they won't come back out. Just put the bowl back on. Put it all back together, throw it back in your bike, and it should work. Cleaning the carburetor usually doesn't affect any of the adjustments or anything, so only takes like 10 minutes to clean a carb, usually, if you're not trying to do a step-by-step -step video. Once you got them both tightened up, of 
course this one won't tighten up because this carburetor's messed up. But once you have yours tightened up, thing moves, all the ports are clear, you can put it back in the bike, start her up. That's how you clean a carburetor for one of these very abundant Chinese pit bikes, ATVs, pocket bikes. There's tons of them. And the Honda carburetors and real motorcycle carburetors all use the same basic principle. You got the bowl, you got a float, and you got two jets. Clean them, put it back together. Should run. Well, that's it for now. Go clean your carburetor and enjoy riding your bike. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. Thanks for watching.